The ethnic minority groups of the Tay, Nung and Thai live mostly in the mountainous provinces of northern Vietnam, speaking languages that belong to the Tay Thai language group and earning a living mainly by wet rice cultivation. The three groups share the view that things and humans all have both via or spirit and body. When the spirit departs, the body gets more fragile and in the case of plants or trees, they wither. So the people have to invite 10 masters to perform 10 rituals to conduct worship towards the via. When conducting the ten ritual to worship the Via, the host family often asks their relatives and villagers to come for help. Each gives a helping hand in preparing the feasts in the lively atmosphere. At the start of the ritual, the master waves a fan to take the spirit out, then burns incense, which guides the way to the realms of heaven, earth and water to inform on the right and ask the ancestors and deities to provide heavenly generals and troops from above. Ancestors are also asked to help the master bring the offerings to the deities so that the latter allow the spirit to come back to the body of the host. Having the assistance from the heavenly generals and troops, the master orders for the drum rolls and flag waving, with the army strongly advancing, bringing the offerings to the deities. The advancing of that army is depicted by the master in what he is chanting throughout the ritual. He sings that the ten army has to take pains passing various Kom and Kai, which are vast deserted lands in the realm of heaven to arrive at the place of Mother Hua and Mother Bo and the two stars of Nam Tao and Bak Do, which decide on the births and deaths of species. And finally, the Jade Emperor, the supreme and most sacred god monarch who holds the destiny of mankind in his hands. <laughs> As for the Dragon King, who manages and keeps spirits that have got lost in the realms of waters in custody, the Ten Army has to take extreme pains to come to him. On the way, they have to kill ogres and release fires to burn the water surface and kill the Ma Tuong ghosts to save the Via. While conducting the ritual, the Ten Master practices magic, including having a spirit enter his body, riding a thorny horse, which means trampling on thorns without feeling pain, running over and swallowing flames, and chewing the incense that has been burnt. In addition, he also acts as a talented performing artist in the sacred atmosphere. After the offerings have been given to all of the deities and the host spirit has been found, the master comforts the spirit, advising it to return to the land of the living. The Tay, Nung and Tai deem that ten masters are extraordinary persons. Only they can contact deities. That is because they are destined to do the job, and most of them were born into a ten clan. But they are only allowed to do the job after following and learning from a senior master for some years. 
and then attending an initiation ceremony by the master, who establishes an altar dedicated to deities and permits them to practice the job. The masters always keep themselves pure and with integrity, abiding by the teaching of ancestors. Having warm hearts to help others, they are willing to perform the rituals whenever anyone who has earlier encountered difficulties and bad luck or infertility asks them for help. Thus, ten masters have become the spiritual prop of the ethnic groups throughout history. The instruments that a ten master uses are a three-string ten instrument called a ting to or a ting ten and a set of small bells, which is called ma hing. Dance is not much seen in ten rituals and is not with complex gestures and actions. Yet it plays an important role in demonstrating the various atmospheres, such as the solemn feeling when coming to the deity's places in the Mua Chau dance, the overcoming of strong winds and waves in the Ma Ham Hai crossing the seas, the vitality and strength in the Tian Thuong Ham Lei, and the joys of the villagers when welcoming the Via spirit back to the body. The thousand-year attraction of the Ten is the stories of miserable lives, of loves that are full of unwanted surprises, and of fierce fights to regain the spirits from bad ghosts. They are immortal epics with strong impacts on the spiritual lives of the ethnic minority groups of the Tay, Nung and Thai. The Ten singing, the Ting instrument and the Via worshipping in Ten rituals of the ethnic groups of Tay, Nung and Thai have been preserved and promoted in modern Vietnamese society. Thank you. 